Alrighty, so we picked up this Coleman bike, the CT200UEX. It's a cool bike. I mean, we put a Makuni on it, um, a header pipe, a seven degree advanced flywheel key. We went down to a 40 sprocket from a 50. And uh, we got it up to about, I think like 45 miles per hour or so. But we wanted to make it where we could actually use this as a gas tank instead of using the gas tank that's on the engine. So we picked up this plastic gas tank and we're gonna go ahead and put it inside of the um, storage compartment. And then if this doesn't run long enough, I guess we can mount two of them in here. But we're gonna go ahead and mount a plastic gas tank inside here and then just get rid of the um, stock factory gas tank. So I think that'll be a kind of a cool mod. It'll really open this thing up down here. All kinds of room then. Alrighty, go ahead and take off this stock factory tank. Cause you know we can't leave anything stock around here. Pull off this fuel line. Yeah, it'll be nice without this tank, man. It'll leave a lot of room for whatever up here. There'll be all kinds of room on top of the engine. Maybe we'll put one of those engine plates or something. Man, look at that. One of the tank bolts already fell off. Man, I think it must vibrate a lot. Alrighty. Move this puppy. Alright, there's that. Got the tank removed. Now, let's mount that other gas tank in here. So I guess I'll go ahead and mark where the fuel line is going to come out on this tank and then drill a hole. Alrighty, so the outer diameter of the fuel line is about uh, 3 8 so 3 8 should be pretty good. Actually, I'm going to use one of these step bits and make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that way there's plenty of room for the gas line now. So we got that. Mount it in there. And it's kind of cool because if you mount it up far enough, the uh, gas cap clears the uh, cover on the tank or on the uh, storage compartment, which is cool cut up a couple pieces of two-sided tape just to hold it for right now until I make a mount. Yeah, I think this tape is pretty strong, man. This stuff will definitely hold it. Probably double it up, though, because of the um, washer. And that bolt's hitting the tank. In place of this stock factory tank bolt, I'm going to put this flat bolt right here. So, um, put the flat bolt right here so the tank won't um, hit on the bolt. Pop this thing off here. Pop this tank bolt out. All right. All right. It's nice and flat. All righty. Go ahead and stick the tank in there. I got the two sided tape down, the uh, flat Allen head bolt, so it doesn't touch the deep bottom of the tank. And then, set the tank down in here. That two sided tape is strong, I could probably leave it just like that, but I'll make a, end up making a mount to bolt it over here. But man, that stuff is, that stuff is tight. See what's nice about it, and now all I gotta do is drill a hole for the vent on the cap, on the cap right here, but what's cool, it actually clears it. So it actually clears the, uh, so I'll just drill a hole right here and then put the vent out here, like an actual gas tank lid. Put one of these clamps on this fuel line. All right. 
Put the fuel line up in here. All right, running down here along the frame. Then I got these two, uh, I got these little clamps for the line to hold it so it'll look cool. Hold it in place. If I can clamp it right here. I mean, you don't have to have the clamps, but I don't know, it's cool. turned out nice yep that looks pretty good now all I gotta do is put the uh, vent hose on top drill the hole in the top and I'll test it out and see what the range is with this little tank on here just to see how far it goes now put a little vent tube on here kind of like the other mini bike watch I'll show you like this mini bike where it has a little vent tube I'm gonna have to do one like that. So for right now, until I get one of those vents, I can just put this on here and then drill the hole so it'll vent out the top and not into the uh, compartment. So let me measure how far back. There's that, put the hole in there for the vent tube. All right. All right. All right, so I went ahead and changed the fuel line. I had it running down here with the clamp and up, but it looks more clean right here, running along the um, throttle cable. And then I'm gonna add this inline fuel filter and then we should be good to go. I go test it out. Right on there. Put the clamp on this beast. And we should be good to go. Hook it on the carb. All right. Got a fuel filter on there. The fuel lines ran up next to the throttle cable, so it looks nice and clean. Yeah, I think that's a nice clean install that way. Now, let's just fill this beast up and then. Uh, Take it out for a ride and see how long it'll run on that small tank. All right, got it pretty much filled up to the top. So with a full tank, we'll see how far we can run. Maybe it'll be like, what do you think? 10 miles, 15 miles, uh, 20 miles? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Alrighty, let's go see how far this thing will go.
so far. Oh, we still got, we still got a lot of fuel left. Alright, so far we went two miles. Let's see how far we went so far. We have all kinds of fuel left. And so far, so far we rode 6.68 miles. I don't know if you can see it on there. 6.68. We got a lot of fuel left. So anyway, we're up here at the, uh, up on the hill in Kingman, Arizona. Keep on going. Let's see what kind of range we got. Yeah, this tank's surprising. I actually, um, it actually has more range than I thought. So far, I guess I might not have to add another one in there in the tank here. I was going to add two of them, have two of them in there, but maybe not.
right, let's check the check the distance again. All right, still have fuel left, and so far we went 10.78 miles. Not bad. Let's check it out and see how far we went. It still has a little bit of gas left. And we went 13.97 miles. So 14 miles. Yeah, so actually that tank did farther than I thought. So we went about 14 miles on this tank full. And it still has a little bit of gas left in it. So uh, I think it'll go about maybe probably 15 miles or so, maybe a little more on that one tank. And the, uh, so yeah, it's a pretty cool mod actually. Cleans up the top of the engine and the um, tank fits in here nice. And you still have room for uh, stuff in the uh, cargo compartment.